Hello everyone and welcome to another 31 Days of Horror with me, Angela of Morbid Heart Designs. This year we are going from my least favorite to my most favorite and today is day 23. Today is another movie from the 50 best horror movies you've never seen documentary and that movie is called The Prophecy. I'm not going to go over the plot but the best way to sum it up is this is a movie about public health, environment, conservation, and the way Indians have been treated in America. The next thing I want to say is, oh my god, the cuteness, like, there's a raccoon and there has to be a stunt raccoon for this raccoon, oh my god, he's so cute. The writing in this movie was really well done. There's a level of mystery to the story as things happen to individual characters that you as the audience understand more what's going on, but the characters have to connect and pinpoint and realize what's going on. Did an excellent job. And then when you see the creature and the fight with the creature, it's like, oh my god, that is amazing. The puppetry and the creature design, just so, so good. I think this monster is adorable. Most of the gore in this movie is implied or aftermath gore, so you see the results of the havoc the creature creates. But overall, there's not a lot of gore that you see on screen. This movie was really intriguing about how the conflict of the lumberjacks and the Indians and the investigators play into each other as havoc is happening because of the creature from the prophecy. No one actually sees it. They think it's the opposition to where they stand on the whole situation in this movie and it created some interesting character dynamic. Overall, this movie was very well written and very well executed. There were more prophecy movies made. However, I don't feel that they were necessary with how this movie ended. I have no intentions of watching them personally. Just want to let you know that there are out there if you are interested. I'm happy with how this one ended. I really enjoyed it. Even though I don't have interest in seeing more in this movie franchise, is it a series? Is it a trilogy? Is it a franchise? Whatever it is. I will still rate this four Zombieverse out of five because I did really enjoy it. There was a lot of good things about it. Very little bad things about it. In fact, I hope you're enjoying the 31 Days of Horror where we're going from my least favorite to my most favorite of watched movies for this year's list. If you're new here, welcome. I typically do art videos on Tuesdays, horror movie reviews on Thursdays, and sometimes those horror movie reviews are art videos. But it is October. And it is holiday season of my dreams. It is Halloween, so we are counting down the excitement to Halloween and things that you can watch. I hope you're enjoying this year's 31 Days of Horror. I know I'm enjoying doing them myself. And I hope you look forward to finding out my most recommended for this year. From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day. And please don't cry before my next video.